Oh, morning guys, you find us here at uh, Rocks and Barns today. Uh, thought we'd take you along and see what it's like. Uh, you can, it's just outside Roxham, it was established in 1980s Regency. And you can, act, it's, it's good for the kids, they've got a lot, a lot of kids stuff here for the farm and uh, you can camp here, you can bring your own tents. Uh, and there's also got glamping here, so you can actually camp here if you want to. But it's very nice, it's got a few shops, so come along with us, we'll go around and we'll show you around and show you some of the flowers and all the different shops. Just have a take the edge off. Yeah. Oh, look at him. What was that? Oh, um, morning. Morning. Right, so we've just come into the deli shop. Have a look around. It's, um, very good. It's very lovely laid out in here. Chilies. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice, that. What's it? Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Yeah. That's it, right then. Oh, cold of mason there. Let me twist it, and it comes up there. No, not there, there. Oh, there, yeah. I think you'd hold it. What prices are they then? Have you got a price on them? Yeah, they'll come out there. Uh, I like them, they'll be nice in the Cumin seeds. Oh, look at all the biscuits. The all the bars at the top. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think I might have to get one of those orange and milk. I might have to go on that. I've got gin and tonic. I oh, know, be happy. I'm going to have a be happy because the girls keep buying me bee stuff. What, what cookies have they got here? Sauce stem ginger, salted caramel, chocolate chip, orange, chocolate chip and orange. Oh, they got some lovely gins and stuff in here. Really nice. What's this like? Lemon and lime ginger. Rhubarb gin. Oh, they've even got vodkas. Vodkas are not. You're not into gin, are you? No, not really. I usually like one in the summer. Look at the porridges. Oh, yeah. Green and sea. Fruit and orange. Look at that apple strudel. The which one? The first one. Oh, the apple strudel, yeah. And the apple and Not 
bad prices actually oh, nice. for kilo. Like. Oh, the oils. Yeah. Horseradish vinegar. As a vinegar, look at these vinegars. Yeah, because you could. Are they infused in the bottle? No, no, they're not infused in the bottle. Smoked chilli. I'm going to get that oil. What's it say on the back? Hold on, smoking hot marinade, drizzle and roast. That's I was thinking for roast potatoes. Smoked chilli? Smoked chilli. No, uh, yeah, I'm thinking. I want, I'd like that. Uh, Hot chilli oil? I think smoked chilli. I might do it with, um, maybe when I'm roasting vegetables. Um, be nice. Just like I Some lovely stuff in here. Mm. All the pastas, all the pasta taran. Oh, look at some of the uh, coffees here. Hundred percent South American Arab beans. You need to stop trying to read things on that. No. <laughs> Frozen section. We've got all the lovely cheeses. If you had smell a vision, you'd smell these cheeses from here, but obviously we don't, so they are lovely, look at that. Some of the cheeses they've got there. Mm. Oh goose, goose eggs, you don't see goose eggs that often, do you? So big goose eggs. Oh look, so look at these rubs. Chili for chicken rubs, turkey rubs, hate gla ham glazed rubs. Oh. Beef, roast beef rub. Roast beef rub. What does it say on it? So it's got paprika, ancho, chipotle, guijillo, coriander. Mushroom powder, celery salt, garlic, onion, pepper, allspice, sugar bay, Oregon. Wow. A dry rub for roast beef or game. I mean, game. if you put that dry rub on the roast beef and then did it in the ninja, the new ninja. In the kasori. No, the ninja thing. Smoker. Smoker. The new smoker, ninja smoker. Yeah, but then you wouldn't want to smoke it, would you? Would you smoke it? Did that rub on there? Yeah, I think so. Well, I don't know. When we get one, I'll try it. Yeah. Shall I get the roast beef one? Yeah, I would get the roast beef one, yeah. Roast dinner dust. Oh my giddy days. Roast potato oil. What's that then? What's that then? Let's see what they've got there. It's infused with smoked rosemary and garlic. Okay, I'll get that one. Got a lovely cakes guys look steamed ginger and oh it's just making so lovely so this is it guys if you come to uh, the Roxham Barns definitely check out the delicatessen I've got it on the bag there so you can see it's absolutely fantastic in here thank you very much thank you bye bye bye
after. Oh, what flavour is this yeah. then? So salted caramel. Oh, salted caramel. We got the fudge, yeah. guys. All made here. Are well, you made... on holiday? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. Got lots of flavours and a special offer as well. Buy three, get your fourth one free. Oh yeah, buy. Got the hard liquid sticks. That's what we used to get. Dipping them in there. Yeah, it's a bit of sherbet, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. Gosh. They've got all sweets in here, guys, oh. as well. Oh, you can buy packets of uh, and vanilla. That's nice. You're enjoying yourself, anyway. We are. Yeah. It's a shame the sun's going to come on. I know, I know. But I know. It's not raining, so. That's what we can yeah, say. We've got to drive. We can get out. <laughs> Do you remember some of these sweets, guys? When you was younger, look at the the, the eggs. <coughs> oh, and Harry the licorice. All sorts. Fruit salad. Yeah. 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 Exactly there. Oh, happy days. Look at it. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Is that if I film in here? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Well, guys, look at this. Reminds me of Disney Springs. Oh. There's, there's the soap, soap shop, yeah. The smell is lovely in here. I know you lot can't smell it out there, but we can smell it and it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> so good, it's a, a lollipop sponge. Wow. Some of the soaps in there are really good. And the prices are not bad, also £3.50 on this rack. Bath piece. These are good, aren't they? Bath piece. Yeah. What are these things? Bath fizz. Oh, bath fizz. They're like crushed up, aren't They're they? the thing yeah mm. these are lovely as well aren't they yeah. put pot peru in it i suppose oh, Carida. Oh, yeah. you need to stop talking <laughs> <laughs> a little uh monks there oh, look. I like the one. yeah so cute they are gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, let's go back. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I don't think it's open, Sarah. Yeah. Well, it's time for a coffee, guys. Yes, please. <laughs> 
Uh, white, please. Sarah? Crushed cheese on toast. So cheese on toast, um, nice thick cheese, onion chutney, dressed salad and some coleslaw. That's all very nice. And I've got, I've just gone for a standard bacon bat. And two, uh, it's not bad. I mean, it's not a lot of butter, but you get a lot, two, two lashes of bacon and they look like they toasted the bottom of the bun. Let's go back and see what it looks like. It tastes nice. So let's um, cut into it. And mm, that onion chutney. It's very good, is it? Mm. I need to learn how to make a really nice sweet onion chutney. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, nice with the cheese mm. on toast. That is a nice posh mm. cheese on toast then. Just, it is, it's lovely. Nice breakfast. Mm. Uh, cut into this. It's not your bog standard roll, that's for sure. Two bits of rashes of bacon, it does look nice. Yeah. It's very good. I tell you what, it's really good. The bread, <coughs> it's so good. That is one of the best bacon rolls I've had in a long while. It's really nice. They've even toasted the bread and the bacon. It's like it's been cooked lovely and fresh. I do, I do recommend it. Yes, yeah, lovely. How was your toast? It was lovely. It was lovely. Um, such a good value. Honestly, I'm stuffed. Um, really good, really nice cheese. So I'm guessing it's a local cheese. That was not your standard supermarket cheddar or whatnot. It was, it was just really nice. The onion chutney just topped it. It was amazing. Really good value. Highly recommend it. Yeah, so... I had the bacon roll and it was, I'm not kidding you, it was lovely. I think they put the roll in a, a broche bun. What it tasted like, it was very fresh. Even the bacon was... Hmm? Brioche. Oh, brioche, yeah. Even the uh, the bacon was freshly cooked. And what I like, if you look, it all comes on this... Grease proof paper. Grease proof paper. It was, it was very tasty. Yeah, it was really nice. It, it, I recommend it. If you're coming into the barns, Roxham, make sure you have lunch in here because they do uh, breakfast, they do light bun, light brunch, uh, baguettes, burgers, cakes, all sorts of things. They actually do a proper afternoon tea as well. Yeah. Full on afternoon tea. How lovely. Yeah. 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 So uh, if you're coming to Roxham, you come to the barns, make sure you do it when you when you want to have lunch because it is lovely in here. Yeah, I recommend it. For sure. A posh cheese on toast, a bacon bat, one tea and one cappuccino. £16.50. Uh, £19, I keep saying it's 19 How much was the coffee on its own then? Coffee? Itemised the prices. So £3.20 is the coffee, tea was 2 25 the bacon bat was, bat was 4 95 and the posh cheese on toast was £6.50. So I'm hoping that was very posh cheese. We are into the delicatessen. Wild tree. I have purchased roast potato oil. Now, in this is Cotswold rapeseed oil infused with smoke, rosemary, and garlic. And it was half price. So it's good. Crush smoked chili oil. Not quite sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but just the thought of that on something. 
don't know, maybe vegetables. I might roast vegetables. That'd be nice with roasted vegetables as a side. Um, that, was, that was less than five pounds, that bottle. I can't remember the price of that, and I didn't ask That was less than five pounds? Yeah. That's so good, isn't it? Yeah. Then we got some roast beef rub. And this will be used for some brisket when we get our ninja smoker, I think. Yeah. And then I'll also have to take that stuff to her. Is it a be happy? Yeah. Be and it, happy. It's a milk chocolate with honeycomb and crunchy caramel. Now, I. I didn't get receipt guys because I don't like wasting paper um, but it did come to £14.90 for these four items so I'm very happy with that. Well, it's not bad considering yeah. you go to some places you go to some place some of these can cost you up to £7 if not more if you go if to not a, more, yeah. I mean you got 50% off that one yeah so I know the barns we went to when we took the children, didn't we? Was it near near Christmas time? Yeah. We went, and we went into one of the shops and the oils they were selling in there were up to £15 for a bottle. Yeah. Which we didn't. No. The chocolate is made in the UK, it's handcrafted, it's all natural flavours and it's palm wheel free. And I specifically shop and read ingredients to make sure what I'm buying is palm wheel free. The only time I get caught out is possibly when I'm eating out. I can't control the ingredients. Yeah. It's all compostable packaging, so that can go in our compost bin yeah. when we grow up. Great. That's it? Yeah, it's good. Good haul. First shot. Yeah, first <laughs> shot. Good haul, yeah.